Hello all once again. We've already covered Drowned Sword in the last review. If you missed it, take a look at the card in the top right to get my take on the first of many Beyblade X releases. Today, we're going to be moving on to X's premier balance type, BX02 Hell Scythe. That said, I know it's annoying, but it's in the script, I have to read it. Did you know that 91.8% of you are unsubscribed? Baffling, I know, considering the sheer quality of my content and size of my ego. But you can help change that by clicking the subscribe button with bell notifications on to stay up to date with all of my future Beyblade related content. Anywho, that's enough of all that rot. Let us investigate what makes Hell Scythe just so formidable. Hell Scythe is yet another starter set, meaning that along with the blade, ratchet, and bit, is bundled with a Beyblade X ripcord launcher, the same as with Dran Sword. Seeing as many of you are returning viewers, I'll skim over the details of the launcher. Launcher face has three prongs, pull the cord and you get eight and a half rotations and can be equipped with a launcher grip. Taking a look at the back of the box, it gives you some statistics to give you a brief idea of what the strengths and weaknesses of the parts are, along with a slightly compressed PNG of the bay's owner in the anime. I believe this fellow's name is Bird. The starter also comes with a skill up guide sheet which recommends the combo Dran Sword 380 Tapered Again, I'm sure this is just a fluke and won't end up happening again. Moving along to the actual parts of this combo, starting with the blade. Hell Scythe features a four-sided design, with smooth, sloping contact points, giving it fairly good stamina, outward weight distribution, and the potential for upper attack on lower ratchet. Its biggest downfall would be that it's branching out in a lot of directions, being pretty solid at a lot, but not the best in anything. Though. Circling back to ratchets, the bay comes bundled with 460, a ratchet that synergizes well with Hell Scythe, having its four contact points line up with its four blades. As a 60mm ratchet, it comes with the same caveat as its similar heighted peers, having lower burst resistance than the 80mm ratchets, balanced out by being lower down and harder to be struck. And finally, Tapered is a great alternative to flat, boasting decent attack with slightly less speed. But with that loss of speed, you gain more control and stamina, giving more of an opportunity to survive a drawn out match. That said, if my last video was anything to go by, Flat can still surprise you. Similar to Flat, Tapered also boasts good burst resistance, should you wish to use it to play aggressively. Time to weigh in. This time, I found a way to focus my camera, but it's still a little blurry, so for ease of viewing, I'll continue using these graphics for the time being. First is the blade, at 32.71 grams. This is around the middle range for weights of blades at the moment, being slightly lighter than Dran Sword, but still heavier than the likes of Wizard Arrow. Up next is the ratchet, clocking in at a cool 6.31 grams, which is around the same weight as the other 60mm height ratchets. And finally, the bit weighs 2.21 grams, which is around the same as all of the other bits. Assembling the bay is the same as before. The ratchet twists into place underneath the blade and the bit is inserted into this hole in the ratchet. Back on the scales, the fully assembled bay comes in at 41.23 grams, which is nothing to scoff at. A perfectly middle of the range weight, perfect for a balance type. With this brief introduction to the parts, I believe Hell Size should have no problem besting any other stock combo. Well, except maybe Dran Sword, as I believe it has the potential to be a top tier, with just a little bit of part tweaking, leaning harder into its stamina, making it taller, and potentially replacing Tapered with Ball. Before getting into the test battles, let's ease into it with some test launches to get a better idea of how this bay performs. First off is a flat, light launch. Immediately, its movements are aggressive, riding the extreme line and getting bursts of speed even with minimal force behind the launch. That said, it quickly calms down and circles the edges of the center and appears to have fairly decent stamina, provided it doesn't topple over. Next is a flat, hard launch. And is that Alter Kronos Eternity launch? Oh my god! What the dog doing? What the hell? Tom Fullery aside, Hell Scythe seems quite proficient at riding the extreme line, and Tapered feels much more controllable than flat with similar power and greater stamina. And finally, to top off the test launches, is a banked sliding launch. This seems like the best launch to use with Hell Scythe. 
it is consistently able to land hits going directly towards the extreme zone, while simultaneously maintaining a flower pattern to score knockouts into the over zone. I would argue that Tapered is an even better attack bit than Flap, though. I was always the type to prefer Quick to Extreme, Back and Burst, and RF to R2F in MFB. That control ability is just so appealing to me when it comes to wanting to score clean KOs. Right, let's get into the part that most of you are here for, the test battles. As Hellsight is a balance type with no distinct weaknesses or advantages, I'll be testing them against one of each primary type. First up is... Hellsight versus Night Lance! The first round begins with Night Lance circling the center and Hellsight failing to make any contact until... It just taps it out into the overzone, scoring two points. How polite. That politeness doesn't last long, however, as in round two, Nightland seemed to be moving a bit aggressive. So, Hellsize just taps it, and it bursts. So much for being a defense type, I guess. With Nightland being so tall, its ratchet is extremely vulnerable. So, this outcome was to be expected. Another two points to Hellsize, winning the match. Hellsize versus. Wizard Arrow! Round 1. All is calm. Wizard Arrow circles the center, Hellsize struggles to land a hit with its flower pattern. It grabs the extreme line, bounces off the wall, hitting Wizard onto the extreme line, counters its attack, and sends it into the extreme zone, awarding 3 points to Hellsize. These guys really aren't putting up much of a fight. Going into round 2, and it's already over? I knew that ball had per burst resistance, but that was fast. I feel like now's the time to mention, to take these tests with a grain of salt, just before I have a second person on hand to launch simultaneously. The last bay I launched normally ends up having the advantage. If only there was some bay that could knock Hellsight down a peg. <coughs> Round 1. Oh, 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 just can we cut to the next clip? Round 1. Drowned Sword is moving around the stadium erratically, and does this count as a knockout? It's not in the over zone, but it's definitely not in the stadium. Alright, I say it counts. Two points to Dran Sword. Moving on to round two, both bays are trading very solid hits, but neither can land one strong enough to knock the other one out. One strong hit from Hellsythe, and Dran Sword scrapes, losing a great deal of stamina. We all know how this ends. One point to Hellsythe for a spin out finish. Round three, same again. Both trade solid hits, utilize the extreme line, and Dran Sword runs out of stamina after an extreme attack from Hellsight, earning another point for a spin out. Round 4. This is the longest any of the bays have lasted so far. Dran Sword moving aggressively ends up using most of its stamina on the extreme line, allowing Hellsight to destabilize it, topple it over, awarding it another point. Next round, anyone's game. Round 5. Sudden death. Go! Game! Final results! Hellsythe is a phenomenal Beyblade. It is an incredible all-rounder and has the potential to win any matchup it's put in. That said, I believe its stock combo can be optimized further, with different parts to lean into one of the primary types slightly more. Its movement patterns are controllable, it has better attack than all but primary attack types, and similarly impressive stamina. Thank you for watching this video. I've not really got any more life updates for this end card, so take it away, Smash Bros. announcer. That's it from me, Milgo signing off. Peace. Subscribe to Milgo.